Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. Today we've got the Autel Evo. So I'm going to do a review on this. It's probably going to be in three parts, maybe two to three parts, because I don't want to do a stupidly long video. So today I just want to show you the drone, and I'll go through the controller with you. So this is it. I don't know if you've seen one of these before. So it's a folding drone, very Mavic-esque. Oops. So as you can see, it's got a gimbal down here, I'll show you the gimbal. So there's your gimbal. It has an SD card in the back of here, it comes with an SD card. And obviously it's got foldable props. It has underneath. Two sensors there, and two optical flow sensors there. It has front sensors and it has rear sensors. These do not optical avoid, so this just tells you if you're coming near an object at the rear, it won't stop the one, it won't stop it, unlike these ones at the front, which will stop it. So it came out a few months ago. You struggle to get hold of one in the UK. I managed to get hold of one, but they're difficult to get hold of. It's a really, really nice drone. I'm not gonna buy giving too much away, but it's a fantastic drone. So the camera is a 4K 60 frames per second. So unlike the Mavic, um, it doesn't. It does 60 frames per second. Now I'm not going to do a comparison video. And yes, I know that the Mavic 2 has come out after this and does have a better camera now. But I haven't got a Mavic 2. I love my Mavic Pro. And if there's anything to compare it to, it's that I'm going to compare it to. The video footage on this thing looks amazing. So as you can, the quality of build is absolutely fantastic on it. It's really nicely finished off as well. I love the orange colour. The only thing I would say is when you fold it up, the props catch on here, so they're going to eventually scuff it at uh, the top of the battery. The batteries cost around £85. I have two for mine. Um, just show you the battery actually. So, yeah, they're £85. And they have a 4300 11.4 volt battery. Good for around, I think they say 26 27 minutes, so flight like time. So, yeah, a nice battery. So, as you can see, the battery goes in the top here. Press that down, pull it out. It's quite easy the way it slots in, so it's just down and in, really easy to fit. And then on the back of here, you have the on and off switch. This is the controller. So it's a, the antennas are built in the back as they are very Mavic-esque. You've got gimbal control there, EV value control here. You've got record, photo button, take off and land, return to home, pause the craft, and the on and off button for the controller. It has two fold down arms here to hold, you don't need to fold it down if you don't want, you can hold it like that or you can hold it like that. So let's just power the, the drone up and I'll show you what's what. Let's just watch the gimbal. If you watch the centre of the camera, very clever. So as you can see, it's got indicator bar on the back, same as the DJI, showing you what your battery level is. We're just going to con connect the controller. So this is the controller, I don't know if you see that well enough. I hope that's showing up well enough on the screen. So on the controller you've got your craft level, the controller level, Distance, height, speed, and your gimbal to where, what position it's in. So I see I move the gimbal up and down. You see on the screen, the gimbal position tells you what degree it's at. Okay. So, this is the controller. If I hit the display button, it's going to give me the display from the drone itself. So you can fly this totally without a phone. 
Okay, we can see that well enough. Put that down a bit. There you go. You can see that better now. There's the optical avoidance on on the screen there. And if I flick it back to this mode, it'll give me telemetry. Now the reason it's just giving me telemetry at this point is because you can fly it with the app as well, which I'm going to show you in a second. It doesn't like that. It's got some magnetic interference for the compass. So. Let me just connect my phone up to it and then I'll show you how the app works. Okay, so we've now connected to the app. So, as in very DJI esque, USB plug at the bottom into your iPhone or any Android, it runs on both. The app to that is called Outel Explorer. You can download it from the App Store and obviously the Play Store into there. And now this screen becomes a telemetry screen only. Can you see that? So if I hit the display button now, nothing's going to happen. Because it's using this as a display. And obviously far more features are controlled by the phone. So, as you can see, this is your... Image. Here is your map. So that's your map. This obviously is... The reds on here are for the sensors, so it's telling me that I've got a problem there and I've obviously got a problem there. So if I put my hand on the back of this thing you'll see the sensor gets confused. So we'll just come out of the map, go back into the settings, so here's your settings, so you calibrate compass, what flight mode you're in, your vision sensors, turn them on and off, your command stick mode, I'm obviously on mode 1, aircraft battery, temperature with your battery, Flight control, visual navigation, you want to turn completely on and off, and so forth. So you see your simple, your simple type of settings you've got. You've then got your camera button, or video. Here's your settings for your camera. You can have the histogram turned on. And various things. At the bottom it tells you what position you're in. So, you've got... Shutter speed, ISO, is in auto, I'm at 60 frames a second, I've been running in 4K, we can see that okay, and I'm in the movie mode. Obviously all these are adjustable, we're going to go through the app more in part 2, and when we do the flight test, I'll show you before the flight test, I'll show you more of the app. I just wanted to give you a quick overview today of what it was, but as you can see, it's very DJI-esque the way it's done. There isn't as many functions in this app as DJI's, I don't think anyway. But you get the general idea. So, this drone itself retails at $999. Uh, doesn't like being that way around. At $99 and the battery itself is is $89. So, I managed to pick it up cheap in the UK. Um, with an open box but for the price point I think it's fantastic it comes with two spare propellers um, the battery charger and the manuals and that's all you get in the box it doesn't come with anything else it doesn't come with a nice case or anything this is basically what you get I love the controller I think it feels fantastic in your hand it's small it's well made and it's superbly finished off as you can see sorry, you've got back buttons on here as well so, this one allows me to go look at my photos that I've taken so by pressing that button. These are programmable. Let's go back out of that and back into the app itself. And this one hasn't, I haven't programmed this button. I haven't programmed any of these buttons to be honest. So, you get the general idea of how it works and what the drone's like. So, Let's go back to the drone. The quality of the drone, like I said before, is absolutely amazing. The arms are really nicely made. It's very nicely finished off. There's been a lot of effort put into making this thing look really good. LED front and back, reds on the front, greens on the back. They also tell you status indicator for your GPS. And like I said, the camera quality is amazing. It really doesn't like being that way around. The camera quality is absolutely amazing. Especially in the 4K 60 frames a second. You'll see more of that in the second part of the video when I do the proper flight test. Now, I'm going to fly it again to do the flight test, but the weather is not great, as you probably know. So, I'll get that up at some time shortly. But I just wanted to give you my overview of this. There is plenty of videos on this around, but there isn't that many in the UK that have been done because not that many people in the UK have one. 
I wanted this from the day it came out um, and I was disappointed that they haven't launched this in the UK and I don't know why they haven't can't find any information online I'd imagine at some point it probably will but who knows so as a package for the price I think it's a remarkably good value compared to other things around in its price point it's got a 60 frames per second 4k camera the Mavic doesn't it's the Mavic 1 should I say the Mavic 2 doesn't actually have 60 frames per second but I'd imagine the camera's got a bigger sensor on the Mavic Pro, but for £999, I paid for this, including the other battery, £720. So, it's a fantastic price. It really is a good price for what it, for what I paid for it. And it really is a really nice piece of kit. So you're going to see more in part two. So in part two, I want to go through the app with you. I'll show you all the settings on the app. And then we're going to take it out and give it a flight so you can see what it looks like flying. So thanks ever so much for watching and have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.